from the Julie Gold song, From a Distance, made famous by Bette Midler. From a distance there is a harmony, and it echoes through the land. It's the voice of hope. It's the voice of peace. It's the voice of every man. I often think of this song when I'm trying to get perspective on something, since every conflict resolves from a big picture context. When a fight is up in your grill, it's natural to take sides and to judge everything from that perspective. But when we can step back, all the way back, and fully perceive the energies and motivations for all sides, we realize the players in the conflict are all fighting for their own version of peace and harmony. When we only focus on the minutia of the conflict, we continue to fuel it. Of course, there are always treacherous outliers whose intent and machinations are purely nefarious, but these make up the tiniest of minority. And by standing back in favor of the big picture, these evildoers can be clearly seen for what they are. Yet they, too, are playing their part in the unfolding of a higher understanding where compassion and love returns to reestablish the fundamental harmony inherent in creation. One of my favorite meditative books is Discovery of the Presence of God, Devotional Non-Duality by David R. Hawkins. In it, Hawkins tells the story of his journey into cosmic consciousness, where, in retrospect, he remembered nothing except residing in the infinite self. This was despite running a very successful psychotherapy practice and teaching at a local university, of which he remembered nothing. It was all non-essential by comparison to his fully embodied ecstatic state of non-duality. He didn't remember what he had been doing, only recalling his ecstasy of being. His life simply happened around him, peacefully and harmoniously, without any specific intentions or desires on his part. In a state of non-duality, there are no sides. Each apparent division is simply the playing out of cause and effect each opposing side expressing negative and positive poles within a single game. Who wins or loses is simply a subset of the overall game. As a young man, I was ranting at my shaman teacher about evil global cabals manipulating societies, and she stopped me mid-rant. You know, that evil cabal you speak of is the single most effective contributor to waking up humanity. From that point on, I began to see evil in the world as the catalyst for the expression of liberty, justice, truth, and the basic goodness inherent in all people. There is a misunderstanding in spiritual manifestation circles about frequency and resonance, whereby your life reflects back to you at the frequency you are broadcasting. For example, if you are in fear, your experience continues to reflect back fearful circumstances. It's the nature of the mirror universe. This property of life gets oversimplified to mean that whenever there is something negative, we must stop and switch to something positive, in essence, resisting all negativity. This oversimplification has been dubbed spiritual bypassing, leading to the cancel culture, where every experience of conflict is blocked, effectively adding energy to the conflict. This overlooks the basic nature of the universe. By vibrating at the frequency of love, there is an allowance of all other states. Bad is simply not preferred, and good is desired. By allowing negative energies, there is a discharge and a reentrainment with the eternal background harmony. The harmony was there first, and is the field within which the chaos was created. Chaotic energies, by necessity, expand harmonious energies because of the basic nature of creation. The mythological Lucifer fell from grace in rebellion against the harmonious whole, yet created a greater potential in the world for good to manifest. When we get hung up on the negativity in the world, adding emotional reactions and blocking or canceling all things bad, we become agents of the conflict. By observing the chaos without resistance and then choosing to find love, we amplify the goodness of not only our own life, but the lives of everyone. 
resisting and fighting against what we see as evil only feeds it energy. By observing it and seeing it as an expression within the field of love, we allow it to dissipate and eventually burn out for lack of contribution. Consciousness advocate and savant Teal Swan teaches that our own negative thoughts are good, and by allowing those thoughts to float on by, we can observe where they came from, what they were a reaction to, and then choose a preferred experience, now with greater understanding of self. The next verse of Miss Gold's From a Distance song, God is watching us. God is watching us from a distance. When we can pull back from conflict to the big picture and see the necessity of both sides, we can join God from that distance. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.